my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm a human being who has been tortured, electrocuted, drugged, covered in nanotechnology, bugs, synthetic biology, morgellons, fungus, mold, whatever you want to call it, and I'm having a nicotine fit. I just had to walk three blocks to find a cigarette because I don't have any money to buy them, and I'm trying to quit. And I woke up this morning, you know, with a terrible nicotine fit, flipping out, I spilled my breakfast all over the dirty floor, which I then picked up off the filthy floor and washed off so I could eat it, because I have no more money to buy food. And, uh, you know, I had a whole bunch of nicotine patches, like 40 of them, something that I got from the doctor to help me quit. And Petra has organized them away in a little golden bag somewhere, and I'm like, where did you put it? I don't know, shut up! Uh, we both wake up in the most horrible feeling, and so I'm looking all over the house, and I'm flipping out, you know, I'm starting to throw things around, I'm like, why do you have to take the things that I have and hide them somewhere where you can't remember? It's just like every single day this happens, and so now stupid Timothy is yelling and screaming like an idiot, and you know, fucking up the one thing that, that is worth anything in his life, his relationship, because he can't manage his frustration and his anger. Talking about myself in the third person, whatever. Um, God, the stress is like killing me. The stress is killing me. Having these little things flitting all over my body is driving me insane and eating me alive. And people did this to me purposely so they could watch it happen or something horrible, I don't know. Maybe they just get off on it. I don't know. You know, I tell myself that they don't hate me. They only do this because they want me to be immunosuppressed so they can see how this affects me. You know, anything to make my life easier. I'm finding cognitive dissonance is my best friend now. And, oh God, I mean, look at me, I look like a freaking monster. People react to me, <laughs> even when I'm polite and nice and whatever, it doesn't matter because now I'm insane and, uh, you know, frightening and whatever. It's, it's, it's hell, man. So I'm wandering around from place to place to place asking everybody I meet with a dollar bill in my hand, the last dollar bill I have, could you please sell me a cigarette? No, 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 no. Nobody smokes anymore, I guess. I don't know. No, somebody goes tells me, go to the Arab store, they have them. I go to the Arab store, no, we don't, we don't have it. We don't sell. We sell them, but we don't have them now. I'm like, please. No. So the guy sitting outside smoking a cigarette, please, can you sell? No. It's like, come on, man. These people have any concern for other human beings? Finally, I found some nice guy who gave me a cigarette. He said, I don't want your money. Keep the money. I didn't even have this, a light. I'm, I'm so discombobulated today. I'm so frustrated and so freaked out. My back, I'm in so much pain. Every time I move, I end up screaming in pain. This has been going on for days now. Uh, my thumb that I cut off. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, yeah. There we go. As you can see, it's starting to heal. Eventually this piece of skin will come off and, and the flesh underneath that I cut will heal and eventually it won't hurt like Like somebody sticking a knife in you and wiggling it around the pain shoots down your arm and your Eyes water, you know, what a fun life So I'm walking around I'm, I'm like You know, oh my other thumb too. I cut that one too. I'm losing the, my manual dexterity my ability to handle objects or I'm bumping into things all the time. This is what happens as you have neurocognitive deficits and decline, uh, which I have. My brain is dying. Left parietal, left occipital, and the entire brain is covered in uh, hyper intense white, whatever it is, I don't know. You know, big white spots all around the edges and throughout the whole thing. So they've really done a number on my my organ, my brain, and it's the only one I know about, I don't know about my insides, 
Every time I take a blood test, they tell me, oh, you're perfectly healthy. I'm like, look at me. Do I look perfectly healthy? I'm sick all the time. I'm throwing up. I have headaches that would make you want to kill yourself. I'm in pain constantly, neuropathic pain. My hands hurt, my legs hurt, every joint hurts. My, you know, I'm inflammation. I'm getting arthritis. It's like, come on. Uh, I can't remember what I was just saying. Arthritis, yeah, right. So anyway, I'm walking around and I find this. And I'm saying, you know, I don't think you've forsaken me, Lord. I just don't understand why I'm having to suffer so much. There must be some purpose to this. And again, is this real or am I making it up? I believe in God. I, I believe that there's a creator, a, a being above this one that made all this stuff because I see his fingerprints in everything that, that is made. Every natural thing. And so this flower reminds me of the beautiful things that God has made here on this planet for us, or for whatever purpose, and... Oh, God. You know, it's like, you, you can't live every single moment in the most intense emotional experience possible, hyper-vigilant, it's... You know, I haven't become numb yet. Um, and I spent last night, and I finally got online. I thought they had destroyed my computer, but I managed to get it working. And I read all of the comments that were censored by YouTube. And a lot of them were because of keywords I put in that I don't want people posting about me, you know? And a lot of them were just held by YouTube for whatever reason. They were quite good comments, so I let them all post. But, you know, some of the things people say, uh, people who don't understand what's happening, the people who don't experience this, the people who aren't going through it, but still, I don't know, man. There's some really crappy things that people say. Um, but, to be honest, that's only a very small percentage of the comments that I receive. You know, I mean, look at me, man. I'm putting myself out here to be judged, to be looked at, to be sympathized, to be hated, to be loved, to be ignored, whatever. I feel I have no choice but to speak on the horror of what has been done to us and thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, perhaps millions, maybe even billions of people. And it's the link between chemtrail, aerial weather modifications, spraying, and Morgellons, fungus, amoeba, life cycle, whatever it is, morphogenic, Thing that, that is infecting everything and everyone becomes more clear, <clears throat> I have to consider that it's possible all of humanity has been exposed to this, and I notice the changes in people's consciousness and the way they react to me and the world around them. I don't understand why I have been chosen to be exposed to these pathogens in such a huge quantity. Uh, I've had this illness for many years, and uh, I've been reading stuff about biological weapons that are non-fatal, but, you know, stop the population from being able to think or function on any higher level, and that they lay dormant in your body for so many years, and then when stress comes, it kicks in. So perhaps all the gang stalking and drugging and torture and everything is just to cause stress, so that uh, they'll see whether this thing kicks in with your genotype and how it interacts with your proteins and your whatnot, and you know. 
I'm not a microbiologist, I'm not a geneticist, I'm just some guy with uh, much higher than average intelligence who's been put through some very serious traumatic experiences since the moment I was born. I've discovered that, in fact, I believe strongly from the memories I've pulled up, being very careful not to imagine things or make them up, that it's highly probable that I've been tortured in various ways since I was a child on various occasions to produce the mindset and the psychological profile that I have. There's no way to prove this, no one's coming forward with it. Anyway, 